So first of all, I think it's important to to realize, and that was confirmed by this session, that that the pressure on on frequencies uh, and the different frequency domains is is increasing, and it's becoming more and more critical for different application areas, and in particular for me from Earth observation, it is a really important discussions that one can hold in in meetings uh, meetings like this. So I think that is uh, so one of the key key items that was raised, and I think it's also uh, great to see that uh, it was an opportunity to have an open discussion and dialogue with uh, with um, the other stakeholders to get an understanding of what their concerns are and what issues they are facing, and also to get a bit of a forward-looking view on where the frequency domain is going outside my own sector. So uh, I could say there are several different reasons why it's, it's concerning. Uh, it's concerning in terms of how we communicate with our different equipments for Earth observation, may that be radio sons or even for satellite communications. But also another aspect is that with, for instance, 5G, the pressure on some of the frequency domains are very close to the frequencies that we are using to monitoring the Earth and the atmosphere and the environment. So what is important here is uh, to first of all acknowledge that some of the atmospheric frequencies, we cannot shift them, we cannot go to other areas, we have to stay where we are. And I think that is uh, often, often recognized, but the problem arises when we get out of band emissions, for instance, through pure, uh, poor manufacturing of instrumentation or equipment. So this balance can only be achieved through an open uh, and honest dialogue between what we need for Earth observation, what is needed for equipment manufacturers for various application areas. And I think that we have to be very careful and not to, to, to scream wolf because we have had examples where people say, oh, uh, car radars impact uh, microwave observations. And microwave observations are key to weather prediction. And if you take away those uh, frequencies, uh, then uh, you will destroy the weather forecasting capabilities. It's not that simple. There are some frequencies which are critical, others are not. So I think it's really important to have that open dialogue. And the way we can actually then uh, mitigate this is, first of all, through proper legislation, we agree on which frequencies can be used for what. We need to monitor that we all stay within our, our allocated frequencies, so avoid out-of-band emissions. And for equipment manufacturers, for ground-based instrumentation, uh, that they also adhere to that and not switch off those uh, safeguards when they deploy their, their instruments. So there is sort of also a, a, a legal aspect to it, if you may. I think that the best, uh, best way forward here is to, first of all, have clear definitions of the frequencies and the bands that uh, should be used for different application areas. And then secondly, it's important to implement that in equipment that uses a radio frequency to ensure that there are no out of band emissions that may impact other users. So monitoring the Earth and the atmosphere is depending on some frequencies. Some of these frequencies are inherent to properties of the atmosphere and technology cannot make the atmosphere behave differently in these frequencies. So these are critical frequencies that need to be need to be protected. So that is one example on where technology cannot uh, save us. The other area where technology cannot save us is that if people decide not to follow the legislation. I think it's an excellent platform to, to bring to the table our concerns 
and, and uh, to demonstrate to people the potential impact that uh, radio frequency interference may have. For instance, another example is that we have uh, space-based observations that go back 40 years in time, and they depend on certain frequencies. If those frequencies are then interrupted, that time series gets uh, interrupted. And this has a tremendous impact on our ability to monitor climate change. So discussion fora like this provides us an opportunity to have an honest and open discussion about the necessity to protect certain frequencies and to discuss ways forward in order to ensure that we find the right compromises because in the end we do need to find the compromises in order to make the spectrum work for all of us.